Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. Today we are going to work on the handling of the Cayman S. We are going to add this rear brace and we are also going to swap the sway bar and install the X73 sway bar onto the car. Let's go. Perfect. There are six bolts to remove this sway bar right here. Now, this one is a 13 millimeter, and right here is a 16, but the way you remove it, you put this T30 in here in the middle, and you put a wrench, 16 millimeter wrench, and then, you know, just remove it. So, on that side, same thing. So let me go ahead and remove all of those things, and then show you what we have to do next. So again, like I said, you put a T30, right here like this you put it like this and because i don't have a 16 millimeter wrench and i can i'm using this tool right here so you can put it like that and just start spinning so that's what i'm going to do to remove the sway bar bolt on this end and on that end right there and then for this one you simply use a 30 millimeter and bam that's out The sway bar is up. This is the old sway bar right here, and the part ends with the 10 right here. And this is the new sway bar, and the part ends with the 14 right here. Now, one of the main difference is the shape. Now, this one has a little different shape than the factory one. This is the X73, and the X73 it's a plain full meaning that you know the material is all the way in compared to this one which is hollow meaning that there's a actual hole inside in the middle meaning that it's not as stiff now this one weight maybe two and a half times that one right there so that's how you know that this is going to be way 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 stiffer also whenever you order this one from porsche they gave you different parts these screws and this uh bracket right here now these are the factory screws that came with this one as you can see these one are shorter so that's why it's important as you can see here this is the one from this one and it's much longer so you will make sure that you use this screw whenever you are mounting that especially if you are going to also mount that right there because that one actually came with that and you know that you have to change the shape the shape of this bracket is a little different as you can see right here the shape is a little different. This one will fit much better with the bracket stiffness uh, brace right there. But if you don't have to install the brace, then you don't have to have these screws right here because this is mainly to adapt that bracket. Now, let's go ahead and install everything. Literally, what we have to do is simply first remove this purple thing and take this little cushion thing, put it right here, put the good bracket on one end and then take that cushion and this bracket put it right here mount everything and then I'm going to show you also how we install the brace in a second so let me go ahead and swap all these parts into the new sway bars and then put it under the car everything is hand tight right now so literally what you do is you place the bracket you place that little divider rubber piece you know and then you mount the brace right on top so right now i have to screw that and i also mounted everything directly here even that that one also is also loose right now so you do that and you do the same thing on the other side now once you put everything together and tighten it that's it man the job is done you can bring the car down let me go ahead and tighten everything and then uh, hopefully i can take the car on the test drive soon and tell you how you know it feel if it's any difference but for now um let me just tighten this and show you guys the next step all right guys this is it man you saw how i installed the x73 sway bar onto the cayman s you saw the difference between the factory one and the x73 and i explained why you actually have to upgrade that if you want to improve the handling on the stair of the car now if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe, it's free. Also, like and comment if this is the type of mod that you can do on your car. Even if you don't have a Porsche, this mod like this, you know, characteristic and handling is the same. Now, if you own a BMW like this one and you remove or swap and increase 
the size of your sway bar the result is going to be the same because every car has sway bar and that's kind of how you you know adjust the handling characteristic of your car by you know having stiffer springs playing with the sway bar sway bar handlings and all of those things also camber sometimes also help in handling whenever you take your car to the track i hope this content was helpful to you you learned something from me today if so make sure that you like and then i'll see you on the next video Thank you and bye-bye.